Click, click. Ah, oh, I've been editing for five hours straight. Click, click. Ah, oh, it's so bad for your back. If only there was a way I could do this whilst I was standing up. Finished! Oh, I love this standing up desk. It suits me so much better. I finish my work so quickly. <sighs> All right, we're going to be modifying this desk right here and we're going to be adding in the height adjustment feature. So we're going to have a nice electronic button. You press up, you press down. This will go up, this will go down. And we're doing this by a bit of kit that I got from eBay, about 250 Australian dollars. And this will actually allow me to introduce new legs, which goes up and down. Now I could buy a desk with this feature built in from Officeworks and that was around $450. The thing is though, the minimum desk size you get from there is a bit too big for my room. So I'm gonna be reusing this desk. I like the style of it, it looks very sexy. I'm gonna be seeing how it works with the modified kit. Now, what is also cool about this kit is it also has some more advanced features that you get with the desks that are at the $800 price point. It is from eBay. I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna modify this desk together and I will let you know if it's worth it. I've always wanted a desk that I can height adjust so that way, you know, cause you spend hours on a computer all day, you start to slouch and all that stuff. So I'm really looking forward to see how I can be productive when I'm standing up. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go get the box. Wow, this is, as it says on the kit, it says heavy. It is a heavy box. It's the model HASD 101WH height adjustable standing desk. It's from New Aim, which is a global trading company. And let's unbox it, I guess. Whoa! What do we have here? So you're gonna need an Allen key, four by four, and eight screws. Man, this is gonna be like Ikea all over again. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six, step seven, seven steps. Seven steps, so I think we can do it. Now, I think first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of these legs from this desk first, so that way we'll have space to mount the new legs. It's done. We need to get the two legs mm -hmm. and we need to put on these guys. So we need to do this to the legs, put them on the floor like this and then attach on the legs from there. Action. All right, what's really cool is you get logos for L goes with L. It tells you the direction it goes, that's up and that's left, that's up and that's left. So you just slot it in like that. And that's how the screw lines in. You need to get the lever and unscrew the plastic knob at the top all the way. And now place this into the lever of the table. And then shortly after, followed by the hexagonal screw, push it in and then just screw it into place. So you get a couple of options of how wide the stand goes and you got different mounts for the screws. I'm gonna put it on the widest mount to start off with. And then once it's fully assembled, I'm gonna make it closer and closer together. So you line it up, this on the outside and this on the inside, and you just slot in like that. And then the screws go in these holes. So, so you are gonna lose a bit of width on the feet because it's only about, say a meter and 20, the base. So if you're planning on going all the way to the right of the desk and all the way to the left of the desk, with a chair, your feet are only gonna get a meter, 0.2. You can have a bigger desk, but the frame is fixed maximum at this size, and minimum it can go a lot smaller. So it can go, I think, from 80 centimeters to about 120. That's what it looks like. So I guess we don't have a choice, isn't it? We just need to go for this length. All right, so I'm just attaching on the side attachments, which will allow me to screw in the desk. So I'm lining it up and putting a screw in the holes. And then using the Allen key, spinning it around.
So now I have measured up the frame to be exactly symmetrical with the body of the work surface. So what I'm going to do now is just make some pre-drilling holes for the nails. So the idea of this is just to make a small hole so that we can screw in the rest of the nails. And you've got four on each side. And then once that's secured, you can then secure in the motor and hey presto, Bob's your uncle. It's pretty cool. You got a six pin to six pin connector to plug the power supply into the, whatever this is, motor. You got a kettle plug for the socket and you got an ethernet cable, RJ45, for the control unit. And you got heaps of space for the wiring. So I think this is gonna go on the right side. So I'm probably gonna hook this up like that. Something like that. Or maybe you know the right box like that. Ah, uh, you know. I figured I'd turn this desk around just to see how it looks like before I lock this into position. This one, again, just a couple of screws over here. I'm pretty much gonna put something like that. Hide it away. Maybe we'll hide it away like that. I don't know. I'll play it. Uh, I haven't decided. I might even just use um uh, sticky tape. Yeah, because that way it's, it'll be. Easy to change if I change your mind. But first, I want to find out. Seems solid right now. I'll find out how noisy it is. This is the noise test. You ready? Let me just find out what's going on for this bit. Do I put this in on this side like that? Is that right? Do I put this side? Oh, there's no, no thing on this side. This one. This one. Have you looked at the manual? Yeah, I don't understand it. I think you have to unscrew it all the way over. All right, to get it working, we just had to extend the rods on this side. So if you come along and look. I still have to use zoom out a bit. Zoom out a lot. Zoom out a lot. So these rods, just need to push them in and lock them into this slot. And this rod, I needed to do the exact same thing. and Push it as far as possible. Then when I press down, it will go down as much as possible and lock it in to position. So now it should work. Hey, <laughs> it's got a, a gauge of how tall it's going up in here. So I started up on 75 and it goes all the way up to. That's really high. One, two, three. Oh, I love this standing up desk. It suits me so much better. I finish my work so quickly. <sighs> all right, so it's all set up in my room. To finish off the job, I added in a, a Velcro strip at the bottom there so I can line up some power supplies so they don't stretch. And I've got it on two settings. So one is all the way down. Get ready for the show. As you can see, I'm now sitting down, surfing the internet, having some fun, and the cable management's alright. And two, I'll just move out of the way. Configuration two, and it will go back up. It takes about 30 seconds to switch between positions. I've got a, a big ultra wide monitor on this and my MacBook, hard drive, wireless charger, a Rode arm for the microphone, and it seems to be very sturdy, which is, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got to say, uh, so far, I'm happy with it. It's got a one year warranty. Hey guys, so it's been almost 18 months with this amazing standing desk. And I gotta say, it's a standing desk for a reason because it's actually stuck on standing. Look what happens when I try to lower it. It's all gonna collapse and fall over. Basically, one of the rods has uh, snipped itself, so it only spins over on this side. So that's the end of my beautiful, amazing journey with my amazing Mac Pro. Try and tidy up the room for the standing desk, and it, and it broke. So, yeah, 18 months. Make sure you get one with longer than two years warranty for insurance because I'm going to have to just go back to my old desk now or buy a brand new system or see if I've got more than a one year warranty. 
it might have been two years or one year. Five years. Now five years of office works. You should have gone to office works. Mamma mia. Oh, mamma mia. I love it. It's every editor's dream come true. I'm in love with this standing desk. My productivity has just shot up 110%. And if I want to, I can use my microphone as well. La 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 la. Ooh, lights, camera, action, mirror. This is every girl's dream come true. Click, click.